Well, the alarm just went off uh, a few minutes ago, and it's about five to five to four. Sunrise isn't until about five to five at the moment. However, there's no breeze out there. That can only mean one thing. So, pre precautions uh, have to be made. That's why I made sure, before I got the head down last night, that uh, the Medjinet uh, was in here. There was a bit of a breeze all night, and then about midnight I went to uh, just a camp. There wasn't even a noise outside, except for uh, the grouse that is. So, I'm going to get the Medjinet on and take a look outside. If the midges are there, I don't even think, I can tell by the no breeze, that uh, there could be a, a good bit of clouds out there. Wasn't really forecast, but there was not, no wind to, to move in and on. So, if there's not going to be a sunrise, I'm going to get the head down for a, a, another hour or so. So, Mickey net, be putting that bad boy on and then doing a head test uh, out there. See you shortly. Doing a test to see if the midges are here. I don't want my head covered, so if they're going to bite, they're going to bite my arms. There's not much chance of a, a sunrise this morning. It's only four o'clock, still about 55 minutes to go for a sunrise. Yeah, midges are here. I'm getting back in there. Hopefully, uh, there's going to be a wee breeze and that there will keep them at bay. So, back to the maggot and get the head down uh, for another hour or so. It's just turned seven o'clock, a uh, little bit of a breeze, not much, but uh, the midges have disappeared. However, uh, they can return at any time. As you see, the grouse hut uh, still uh, misty conditions never saw it in these conditions before so it's going to be different I'm going to see maybe if there is uh, mist on the water uh, I'll be very interested I'll be here in a couple of minutes have to get Mr Magoo for there's electric fence up here and I don't want him getting uh, electrocuted so I'll catch you in a moment Well, this here is my, my first composition uh, of the, the day. I'm going to be using this big boulder as my foreground interest. Then we've got the grouse hut. A little bit of mist on there. Uh, and loads of reeds. Then midges are starting to come back again. I'm not having much luck uh, the last few days, times that I've been out. So I'm going to get set up. See what composition is going to work. Is it going to be a landscape uh, or portrait? But if you do come up to the grouse hut, you can't miss this boulder. Uh, it's an ideal st uh, starting point and working your way uh, round. It's bloody roasting. Uh, so whenever I, I checked the car, it was showing as 15 degrees. I'm sweating already and I've, uh, I've not walked very far. So I'm going to quickly get set up and then we'll take it from there. If anything, this mist is getting uh, heavier and heavier. So it's 
guaranteed to be uh, a black and white shot. Main thing here is balancing uh, the sky uh, that's well blown out uh, against the foreground. So I'll go to a point, a point six medium grad first of all, just to see that's going to be uh, my starting point. 24 to, to 70, that's getting the rock in uh, as well uh, as the, the grouse hut. I'm going to end up having to take a lot, a lot of sky away because there's just going to be, there's just going to be too much. And my focal point for this here, because of the mist, I'm just going to focus uh, on the rock itself. F11, ISO 100. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely it's definitely different. That's for sure. So I'm I'm going to get a few more shots from uh, this here, but a uh, particular uh, position. Then I'll move on round uh, to see what happens. Uh, it depends how uh, how much uh, the midges uh, are attacking me. How long I'm going to stay up here. It was it was supposed to have a bit more of a more of a breeze. Uh, the shift is here. Hopefully the sun will burn it out. I'll see how long it takes. Uh, you never know. These conditions up here in Scotland, especially at the Grouse Hut, you can have three or four seasons uh, in one day. So as it says, a few more shots here and then work my way round. Well, I've just came a bit closer to the water's edge to get the reeds and the, the grouse hut and there's a nice reflection uh, on the water. Zoom in uh, right into 70mm, still using the, the same point in medium grad and I'm liking this here shot. The, the reflection is really, really making it. So uh, it's time to get a few more shots here and let's see how far down the lock uh, we can get before uh, we can't see the, the grouse hut any longer. I did go down the bottom of the lock. Yep, you can see the, the grouse hut from down there. The mist is uh, starting to lift a little bit more. However, there's a lot of sheep down there. Got Mr. Magoo, so there's no way uh, I was taking him down there. He's used to sheep, but sheep aren't uh, going to be used to him. So uh, better safe than sorry. So I've came up to uh, the top uh, of the lock. Tons of reeds here. Using a very hard edge, a 0.6 uh, in this instance. And I'm going to be slotting that in diagonally. And there's a, there's a forest uh, behind the grouse hut uh, running down a slope. And that's why I'm using as uh, the very hard age grad, so that you can uh, see uh, the, the definition between it and the forest. Yeah, you could get away with a, a medium grad, but in this instance, uh, I want to try out. Uh, it's the very hard. It's all about uh, trial and error in this game. So I'm going to get a few more shots. They're set up exactly the same. Zoomed in. Zoomed in to near enough 70 mil. So I'll get more, a few more shots here. I'm really, really liking these uh, reeds. These reeds are are, are really uh, setting this here uh, shot off. It's a shame that I'm not getting uh, the reflection in the water because I'm down, I'm down lower. I may try up at the top of this here, but then I'm not getting, I'm not getting as close into those reeds. Yeah, it's different, different. Uh, I'm really liking it. So what I'm going to do now then, go back down to where I pitched the tent, uh, get it unpacked. The sun's starting to break through, get a bit of breakfast on the go, and then see how long it takes for this here. Uh, it's missed the, the burn off in the sun. So hopefully I'll catch you soon. Breakfast time it is.
Well, it's time for, for breakfast now. Now, what I've done is I made this myself. You buy these pouches. Uh, it's, I think they're 15 quid for like 50 or 100. There's beans and uh, proper butcher sausages in there. Uh, to me, personally, you're better off with this here rather than the, the dry freeze uh, or the other ones. They're bloody expensive. Uh, this here, uh, cheapest chips. The way you seal it, uh, use your use your hair straighteners or an iron. Uh, don't do what I done the first time. Fill it up that bloody much that when you lay it down to do it, it starts seeping out again. Uh, but that'll take probably ten minutes in the the boiler, and then it's beans and sausages. Won't take long now. Well, after breakfast, uh, the sun burnt through uh, the, the mist and the fog and look at it, a uh, scorching day. Blue, blue skies. I came back to the, the first location with the, the big rock. Uh, so I'm going to take more or less the same shot just to compare this morning uh, to uh, now. It's still, it's still only about half past seven, uh, quarter to eight in the morning, and it's, it's bloody roasting. So, time to get set up, more or less the same settings. Uh, it's me even put a polarizer on, uh, the Lee uh, 100 polarizer, fantastic uh, piece of kit. It makes it getting on and off so much easier. So let's get up, or let's set up and see what uh, we can get from here. Now what I have to be mindful here is the tripod and me are casting a, a shadow. So I'm going to have to move slightly further back uh, and zoom, zoom in. It's nice getting that bit of breeze, it really is. Uh, it keeps the veggies away and it's bloody roasting already. really liking this uh, Lee 100 uh, ring. It's making life uh, so much easier than the old one. And it's fantastic with the, the polarizer as it just clips on. That's it. So simple. Whereas the other one, if you screwed it on uh, in the wrong thread, that would you. Gonna have to get rid of the, the glasses. Now, first things first. Get it level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, getting that rock in. And maybe, you mean with that light already, It may be too harsh, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll take the shot just for uh, a comparison.
My thing is, with a polarizer, you don't want it too blue. Uh, you want a happy medium. I'm happy with that there. Uh, now I'll put my my point nine uh, medium grad in. Definitely my 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 favourite, my go-to uh, filter for nearly everything. Same settings as before, uh, F11, that there may be, it may be too blue, let's, right, try that again. Hoodman, see conditions like this here, where the sun's behind you and you're trying to see your viewfinder worth its weight in gold uh, reason I got this here out photographing in the summer uh, yep it does get a summer in Scotland and I was doing long exposures and whenever I got back looked at the images everyone's wrong I had a tad over my head looking in didn't do the job with this here With this here, there's no mistaking. You're seeing your shot every time. So it's going to take a shot without. The grad in and just using the, the polarizer. Now, even, even with the, the Lee 100 polarizer, using a, a 16 to 35, uh, Nikon lens, that, that's what I normally use. What I find, you're getting a bit of veinetting around the edges. But this year is 24 to 70, you're going to have no issues whatsoever. So get the hood out. That's not looking too shabby at all. Yes, it's... Yes, it is a harsh light. Uh, but we went from one extreme this morning uh, to uh, a full blown summer's day up here. Now, right. I'm going to end. Uh, I'm going to end uh, this year blog uh, now. I think it's pretty pointless going round it because of the the harshness. But it was to show you what up what up here we call it the grouse hut and uh, it's, it's just above Kenmore and if you get the chance to come up here definitely definitely do because it's a fantastic place in the right conditions uh, in the right conditions it's a fantastic place I've been up here in the, in the winter in the snow and the frost if you do come up here make sure your car can handle it uh, because there's a, a hairpin bend that is, is scary not so bad coming up but it's the going down and uh, in the summer and the evenings you get a fantastic uh, you get a fantastic uh, sunset here and it's more so a sunset uh, rather than a sunrise however as uh, another photographer martin steele he's had one one of the best sunrises of this here location i think he's only been here twice in his life and he's got two fantastic shots uh, from it i come up here quite a bit doesn't doesn't always work out that way but listen silence it's amazing up here so uh, the last thing that I have to mention is thank you uh, for watching and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this here uh, trip out uh, to the Christ hut thank you